Hey, I wanted to shoot a video because I don't really feel like the Department of Transportation teaches enough safety about four-wheelers sharing the road with semis. So in this video, I'm going to touch on four kill zones. And when I say kill zones, I mean zones that if you hang in for more than three seconds, it's a high probability that you could be killed. Yo, I really need y'all help on this one, man. Y'all need to send this video to everybody y'all love. And I'm sure once y'all get done watching it, y'all understand why. This video should do a million views easy. They say never say never. I say never tell me what to do. A person will never put you in a position above them. That's never a lie. Always true. Success never comes without risk and risk never comes without fear. YouTube is a smoking mirror, never how it appear. All right, this is what I need you to know about being on the highway with trucks, because it's a lot of people out there who got a CDL that I don't understand how they got a CDL. So I'm not even going to try to to guess what school they went to, what school they didn't go to. I don't even know how they passed the test because truly they can't drive. And that's what you need to keep in mind. Every time you see a truck, you need to assume the person driving that truck doesn't know how to drive it. With that being said, it's four kill zones is what I want to call them because they can get you killed if you hang out in these zones too much. And I want to go over each zone so that you can't say you didn't know. This really for like the four wheelers, like, you know what I'm saying? And all that. But you can't say you didn't know about these kill zones. All right. The first zone I'm going to talk about is the zone. When you see me turn on my signal light to get into usually the left lane, and you behind me in the right lane, but you decide either A, you're going to jump in the left lane and speed past me, or you already in the left lane and you're going to speed up. It's a few things you should know before you make that decision. When you see me put my signal on to get over, usually I'm in the right lane and I didn't see something and I need to get over to the left lane. What you need to know is at the three blinks, one, two, three. I'm coming over. Do not jump in the left lane and try to shoot past me. If you ain't already in the left lane, stay in the right lane. When I get past whatever I'm trying to get past, I'm going to get back over in the right lane. Because here's what happened when you jump over and try to pass me. Most people not going to be fast enough to pass the truck before I start getting over. That signal light is not asking for your permission. That signal light is letting you know at the three blinks, I'm coming over. Don't be in the kill zone. When you're on the side of me and you finally decide that you want to pass me, that's fine. We don't have no problem with that. Do not take all day to pass me. When you do that, well, before you do that, it's a few things you should know about taking all day to pass me. If you're going to pass me, pass me. If you look out your passenger window and see the rear tires of my trailer for more than three seconds, you've entered the kill zone. You need to pass me with a degree of urgency because if I can't see you, I don't know that you're there. If you see this, when you look out your passenger window and you stay there longer than three seconds, these are the tandems on the truck. This is the, the catwalk, the line hookup. You stay there longer than three seconds, you have entered the kill zone. If you're going to pass me, pass me. Do not ride on the side of me. Before you decide to bite my bumper is what we like to call it in trucking. 
and that's get real close up on my bumper thinking that you're going to make me go faster. It's a few things you should know before you make that decision. Do not ride this close up on me when you behind me to the point where you can barely see my ICC bumper. Some people be this close. You never want to do that with a semi. Because when I look at my mirrors, you so close behind my trailer, I don't even know you back there. So I got to assume nothing's back there. This about how far you should be back from a semi. That's about a car length and a half. Anything closer than that, you have entered the kill zone. When you finally do pass me out on the highway and you decide you want to get back over, y'all getting over way too soon, man. It's a few things you should know about getting back over in front of a truck. Well, it's actually only one. I I've been saying it's a few things. It's only one. That's that kill zone. When you getting back over in front of me, I know some of y'all may think that's enough room because of the speed you going, the speed you think I'm going. That is not enough room. If you have to slam on your brakes for any reason and I have to slam on my brakes going 65 miles an hour, it's going to take me, depending on if I'm loaded or empty, approximately 200 feet to stop. And for those of you who don't know what 200 feet is, think about two football fields, the length of two football fields. If you get over in front of me and don't leave me enough space to stop, you have entered the kill zone. It's kill zones all around this truck. Your only job when you see a truck is to stay out the kill zone. And matter of fact, if it's raining outside, I need 400 feet, four football fields in front of me to stop. So you can play with it if you want to. Now, look, I didn't went through the time to show you four kill zones when dealing with a semi out on the highway. But let me let me let me leave you with this, because this is important. My main objective when I'm out on the road is to get to where I'm going safe and back home safe. And for me to do that, I have to neutralize whatever objective that is in the kill zone. Let me say that again. In order for me to do that, I have to neutralize. Now, we all know what neutralize means. So I'm asking you nicely, stay out the kill zone when you see a semi. We can, we can reduce the amount of accidents that happen between semis and four wheelers if people stayed out the kill zone. And last but not least, respect the truck, people. Been through a lot of pain in my life and I pray the Lord take it all away.